Someone pointed out to me recently that I don't have much, if anything at all, on my YouTube channel about grip. Come on back, watch this video. I'm going to give you the basis to why everyone's grip's a little bit different, but we're all trying to achieve the same thing. Hi, I'm PJ Master, professional of instruction and top 25 golf tips magazine instructor, John Hughes. I'm here on the 18th tee of Falcons Fire Golf Club in Kissimmee. Come and visit me when you can here. And by the way, hit that bell, subscribe to the channel each and every time I put a new video on, you're going to get notified. Grip is always a personal thing and it's the most uncomfortable item in your golf repertoire of skills to make improvements to. Why? Because of comfort. But a lot of times you lack not only the strength, but the understanding of what you're trying to do with grip. A long, long time ago, I was introduced to a concept of what's called neutral arm hang. It's something that myself and my orthopedic doctor have coined the term of. And all it boils down to is when you're standing straight up and down, how are your hands hanging from your shoulders? Most of the time they're going to hang angularly. They won't be parallel to your body. They won't be perpendicular to your body either. They'll hang at an angle. Well, when you take your posture and let your arm just hang, your arms and hands are at that same angle. So what you're trying to accomplish is having at the very least your front hand, in my case my left hand, in that position when I take my grip. And it's real easy to do if I take the club, put it parallel with my body, and then try to replicate that angle by pulling the club out in front of me and using the fingers to hold the club not my palm, spread your fingers out a little bit, hold it in your fingers, all of a sudden my hand, my front hand, is in that position, the same position, the angle that it hung from, neutral arm hang. This allow, it allows the hands to hold the club properly and that's the hand's major function because if you're holding the grip properly, then all the other functions of the hands and wrist act properly, such as wrist hinge at the top of your swing, being able to hold more lag angle on the way down. It's all about neutral arm hang, and everybody's a little bit different, which is why you'll see slight variations of that angle. The common question or the common points of the V of your thumb and forefinger being able to see a couple of knuckles, those are all great reference points, and if I grip the club with my neutral arm hang, I accomplish those things looking down at my front hand. Very, very simple concept to put your grip where it needs to be for you, not necessarily where it needs to come from the textbook. Questions, comments, leave them below. Be more than happy to answer as many as I can, as questions I can, as quick as I can. And thanks once again for subscribing. Come on back more often so I can help you improve your golf skills.